So 60 seconds and it should give me a PowerPoint presentation. I'm not working hard, I'm working smart. 20 slide presentation for the sales department, sales and marketing department. We are surviving from many years. Welcome back to the new video in Microsoft Copilot, which is in Microsoft PowerPoint. Copilot is a very interesting feature which has broken the internet and it is a game changing tool in Microsoft products. We have seen in the Microsoft Word how it is done. Now let's explore some topics in Microsoft PowerPoint. So here in this video, I'll be covering four points related to Microsoft Copilot. The first would be how do I create a presentation inside PowerPoint. Normally, if you ask any person to create a presentation, it will take approximately 60 minutes, maybe one hour, two hours, three hours or sometimes four hours. But with the help of Microsoft Copilot, you can create presentations in just one minute. Within one minute, you can create a presentation. So imagine the time taken two hours, 120 minutes has come down to one minute. Though it will be not that perfect, but yes, it can do wonders. Let's try to see an example about how to create a PowerPoint presentation in just one minute. Let's try to see this. So I have opened a blank presentation, okay, in PowerPoint, and I want to create a presentation for the HR department. Okay, suppose there's a new hiring which is done for the HR department, I want to create a presentation. So it takes time to search images, it takes time to do the, you know, animations and then uh, pick up the videos and text as well. With the help of Copilot, we can do in less than one minute. Let's try to understand. So in the feature, if you see on the right hand side, this is a Copilot which is available and I've enabled that feature, right? So on the right hand side, I can just click on this Copilot button and you can see there's a dialog box which opens on the right hand side. Now, it is not available by default for all the people, Copilot. You have to purchase an extra license about Copilot. Only then you can use it, right? So it's not available for all the users. You have to pay an extra amount to get this answer. So now, here if you see, it says create presentation, create presentation from file or add a slide about. So now, I want to create a presentation for the HR department, okay, for hiring process. So here in this ask questions, I can type and get the answers, right? But rather, rather than typing, why not I use my voice uh, to convert into a text? So you see, this is a box over here and I can start creating a prompt. Asking questions to Copilot becomes your prompt, okay? And any person who doesn't know about anything about coding can still do it. So you see, I'll just start giving a prompt. Create a presentation for the HR department for hiring freshers in the company. Right. So when I when I did that, it made a mistake while pronunciation, it, the accent was not proper. So therefore, it has made a you know mistake over here. So I have to correct that mistake. I can go back to this location and I can write here as instead of precious, I'll write as freshers. Okay. So create a presentation for HR department for hiring freshers in the company. Okay. And uh, you see, I'm not doing, I'm not working hard. I'm just trying to, and I can just click on this send button. And... 60 seconds, it gives you most of the times, sometimes it fails, but let's see if it is passing or failing this time. Okay, so 60 seconds and it should give me a PowerPoint presentation for the HR department for hiring freshers. It is so easy. And see, I'm just doing a time pass. I'm not working hard. I'm working smart with the help of Copilot. So everyone, this is the first example on Copilot. Three more examples I'll be showing in this particular video. So let's wait. And you see how many slides it has created. If you see at the left hand side, one of six slides. So total six slides it has created. And uh, I'll just click on slideshow and from slide. So that's the first presentation image it has picked up. And if you see behind me, there's a name of the company. Welcome to our company. And I can go to second slide. To pick up this image, a person requires minimum five minutes, which is the best image. This images are copyright free, 4K images, copyright free. You have to just search in Google and find out, but you can use this presentation images and text as well. You see third slide, you see so great presentation they have prepared here. Okay. And you see that next one and next one. And finally it has conclusion. So six slide it has cleared. I can be more demanding and I can ask them, give me 10 slides of presentation. That is possible. So I can go back to file and I can click on this blank presentation here. Again, I can go back to Copilot, this Copilot. And now I think I'm now going to demand more about it. Okay. And I'll say, give me 10 slides or 20 slides. It will create 20 slides for you. Okay. So I'll click here. 
and I'll, I'm just trying whether it's working or not, but most of the time it gives you the answers. So now what I want is, I want to create 20 slide presentation for the sales department, sales and marketing department, okay. So I'll click here and I'll start giving prompt. Create 20 slides presentation for the sales and marketing department in the IT service company, right. So because my pronunciation was not good, the accent was not good. So it has taken instead of IT as IP, not a problem. I understand this is the change. I'll do it manually IT. And now I can just click on send. You see any person who's busy in the company who doesn't have time, who is on the senior level should be given this co-pilot license to make the productivity better. So I cannot say you can use the presentation 100% foolproof. Obviously some changes has to be made, but if you have less time, and if you have more work, go for co-pilot and see the timing 60 seconds. I'm not purposely taking a pause in between so that to make you aware about the time required. Now, when I say 60 seconds, it can be 120 seconds. It can be 480 seconds, depending upon the internet speed in your company. But chat GPT, which is co-pilot, it will become, you know, faster. So you see this kind of messages might come, but don't get demotivated. You can try again and again to get the answers. So I can go back here and I'll give one more prompt here. Create a 10 slide presentation for sales and marketing in the IT company. Right. So I'm trying it one more time. And if you see create a translate presentation. So I have to write as 10 slide presentation, create a 10 slide presentation. And now I can just click on send. So you have to keep on trying, but it will definitely give you the answers. And I'm just trying it one more time to get the output, whether it is working or not. Okay, so remember 60 seconds is the time which will take to give you the output. So now Copilot is not generally available. As I said, you need to buy the license only then you'll be getting it. Okay, the license cost and all you can see, I'll put the link in the description and you can have a look on that. So in the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all the softwares, you can find the Copilot and that's a presentation which is ready. It is still creating it. And on the right hand side, if you see on the left hand side, it has created 10 slide presentation. When I asked them to create 20, it did not work. But for 10, it worked. You have to see the permutation combination. I can go to slideshow and from beginning. Let's see whether it is okay or not. This has created a video by default. If you see, that's a video which is playing. And obviously, if I have limited time, I have not prepared. I'm a busy person, not a lazy one. If I'm a busy person, go for this co-pilot. And that's the second one, understanding your customers. And then third one, creating a strong brand. You can see the pictures, uh, building a strong web presence and all and all. So this is the beauty of co-pilot, which is introduced. So remember, uh, give this license to those people. If you're manager, give this license to those people who are super busy in your company, who wants uh, more productivity and they're dying to make it, you know, something better in the company. So those people should get it, uh, this presentation. Now. Again, I'll click on file blank presentation. Let me show you the second example. Now, suppose I have a word document. Okay. From that word document, I want to create a presentation or from a PDF document or from an Excel document. How do I do that? So that's the second topic I'm starting right now, creating a presentation from the attachment. So here on the right hand side, if you see, it says create presentation from file. When I click on this option, what it will do is this will give me all the files which are there in my SharePoint, okay, or in OneDrive. So which are stored in the cloud version. From the cloud version, it will pick up the attachment, understand the data written in the document, and based on the data, it will create a presentation. So what I've done is, I've created a course outline for Copilot, which is a Word document, okay. So I'm just attaching that Word document in this particular presentation. I do not know what is written in that. I'm just trying over there. So here, if I select this Copilot course outline, create presentation from the particular document. It can be Excel, it can be Word, it can be PDF or any other document. So right now, and now I can just click on send button. So remember, if the client is sharing some requirement document with you, okay, and he has told you to present me what you understood. So you can just pick up that attachment, upload in the uh, PowerPoint, in the Copilot, and the presentation will be ready. So uh, Microsoft Copilot is very smart. It understands the document. Now, people have a question that what is the difference between chat GPT and uh, Copilot? They are giving the same answers. Definitely, uh, they both are different. Uh, they do the same activity, but why they are different, you won't like to send your personal document on ChatGPT 4.0. Definitely, if the data is related to your company, it's confidential. 
you cannot share the data to chat gpt4 to get the output but here since it is microsoft these are some legal terms and you know conditions they have signed up so security is more better uh, safety is more better where you can trust microsoft in terms of the security and all these things so therefore i can attach whatever documents i've got it and the presentation is ready have a look on this the number of slides which i have is 15 slides it has created i'll go to slideshow and i'll go from beginning i have not read the document it's a course outline but let's see what it has created so co-pilot for microsoft 365 a guide to writing with ai now, in that course outline, I've prepared the topics, okay. Usually, we have a corporate training segment, which does the training for all the companies. And what are the topics we do cover for those co-pilot in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, uh, Teams, Outlook, and many, many topics are there. So, this uh, training, which is for co-pilot, which goes for, let's say, 8 hours, 16 hours, 32 hours, depends. So, where we bring all the people in the, in the company together who are more productive, who wants to do something better, not the lazy and freshers. Freshers do not understand much. I'm sorry to say this, but they need to work hard. Freshers have to work hard and the leaders, the seniors have to work smart in the company. So then there is a prerequisite. Then we have something benefits, features. You see the images also it has picked up. To pick up this image, I have to put my brain and all into this to get the answer. So what are the license requirement? Uh, what are the module name and all these things? So you see 15 slides it has prepared in the Microsoft PowerPoint and I've got the answer here. Third topic is, suppose if I want to add one slide, okay, about any one topic, I can still do that. 15 slides are there and I think something is missing. The missing part is GPT versus Copilot. Okay, so I can write here, I can go back to the presentation, maybe here, I can go upstairs and I can say, uh, maybe, yeah, there's one more topic here, which I can say, so you see, I've written as add slide about GPT versus Copilot, enter. And what it will do is, it will go to Google or maybe LLM, not Google, sorry. It will go to chat GPT large language model, which is LLM, and it will pick up the data and it will create a slide for you. If it is not creating, do not get demotivated. It makes mistakes because it is still learning how to get the output. So you see, now it has given me GPT versus Copilot. So I don't know what the data is, but definitely it is 70, 80, 90 percent correct. Not 100 percent, I can say, but the data is generated on the right hand side here. OK, so I can go to slideshow from current slide. So that's a GPD versus this one. If I go to the next topic, the fourth topic, if I want to add an image about something, I can still ask them to add an image. For example, add an image about a person using GPD in the office. OK, so let's try. OK, I'll click here and I'll type here. Add image of a person using chat GPT in the corporate company. Add image of a person using chat GPT, uh, chat deputy, because uh, my pronunciation, I'm not very good into English. So it has not taken GPT, it has taken deputy. So it is my mistake, not chat GPT mistake. So I'll write as uh, chat GPT, GPT in the corporate company and I can send it. So today, if I don't use Copilot, I can still survive. People in the world are still surviving. But the, with the help of Copilot, the time required to search the image from internet, from Google is 10, 20, 15 minutes, whatever it is, it will come down to lesser time, you see. I think that's the image which is added. Yes, that's one more image which is added here. And let's say one more just to verify. I didn't get the answer here. Add image of person from school using GPD. Right. So I didn't see that. Therefore, for my confirmation, I'm adding here, add an image of a person who's going to school and using that chat GPT thing. So if this is adding, that means it is understanding what you want. So since it has added image, yes, you see that's a image of a student. And the best part is, beautiful part is, it has also organized, you see in a proper way, it has organized the image as well. So it is easy for me to understand. Is the last topic I can see. How do I organize the slides? So here is an option. Please see, this is the one, organize this presentation. When I say organize, these are the 15 or 16 slides. They are not organized properly. I want introduction five slides. I want the presentation five slides. The conclusion should be five slides. So here, if I go organize this presentation, it will use its own intelligence, understand, divide the topics into separate things and create sections. Okay. So for people who do not know sections, I'm talking about this particular topic sections. In PowerPoint, there are some sections in order to avoid the confusion, it is dividing the parts. So you see, it has created the sections. So that's an introduction section, 
course overview section, course outline section. So when I go for a presentation, I will understand that after the lunch break, what I need to present, before the lunch break, what I need to present. So these are the topics here. So that is what you call organizing a proper presentation. So co-pilot, uh, as I said, we are surviving from many years without co-pilot, we will still survive it. But people who use co-pilot are more productive. They can bring, uh, you know, wonders in their company by adding this game changing tool in their work. And this is just a tip of the iceberg. There are so many things inside co-pilot of PowerPoint, which we'll be learning whenever we start the training and we come back to you for this. So this video is sponsored by TechnoEdge Learning Services Company, which is an IT services company, which provides training to all the corporate clients and the giants and uh, in also the B schools where we go and train them, those participants with the latest technology, how we can optimize their people's time, their productivity and bring down the wastage time, which is repetitive tasks. So the company which is sponsoring this is TechnoEdge Learning Services. So I hope you have understood about the co-pilot in Microsoft PowerPoint and that's all for this video.